I'm Rebecca and these are my reviews and I have an Ipsy OS box. So this is not the same box that the general public can get. This one is specifically for influencers to basically show off some of the possibilities that you can get in any of the Ipsy bags or boxes this month. So I have some products that are available for the $10 Glam Bag and some for the Glam Bag Plus or Ultimate. Last month I combined this with my usual Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, which I pay for, um, but this time I thought that I would do them separately. A, because I get this one a lot sooner and B, because there's a lot of products in here. So let's go ahead and start with some skincare. The first thing is from Tatcha. This is the Deep Cleanse, and it does have a little bit of some scrubbies in it, but not a lot, and I don't like scrubs that don't have a lot of scrubbies. Like, I feel like you just either take them out or put more in, because it's like, okay, well, I got a scrub there and there, but nowhere else, you know what I mean? But other than that, I thought that the actual formula of it was nice. It washed off good and clean. It seemed to do a good job cleaning my face. Um, and Tatcha in general is supposed to be a really nice brand. I haven't tried a lot of their stuff, but I did, I did like this, except for the random scrubbies. And then I have two moisturizers. This one is from Kate Somerville. This is the Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. This one one is like the one ounce kind of travel size, so it doesn't have the same applicator thing. If you've ever used or seen Kate Somerville, they have the like pump top where you squeeze it down and it comes out of the middle and you have to kind of swipe it up like that. This is very runny and I wish that they had put it in different packaging because I nearly spilled it the first time I opened it. That being said, I love this product. I did a whole review I think a couple years ago and then I busted out some Kate Somerville just recently and brought it back into my routine because I really do like these products. It doesn't have any scent to it, it just feels really, really moisturizing and luxurious, but it's also very lightweight. If you're like me and you have dry skin, so you need that extra moisture, but you don't like that heavy feeling of like a thick, greasy kind of a moisturizer, it usually seems to be one way or the other. Like you're super lightweight for oily skin or you're super heavy duty. And this is like the best of both worlds and I love it. I've been using um, the regular Kate Somerville moisturizer. I don't remember what it's called, it's the oil-free one. And I love that one as well. This one has a little extra moisture to it. I don't know if I should say moisture. It's uh, it, the viscosity is just a little bit creamier. It's so freaking nice. I think if I were to repurchase, I would probably get the goat's milk over my other one just because this just feels so nice on my skin. The other moisturizer is from a company I had not heard of before. This is Glow Recipe. You can get this at Sephora. They have a whole line and it's all fruit flavored. It's an all natural company, vegan, cruelty free, all of those wonderful things. And all of their products, like this is the Banana Souffle Moisture Cream have like fruit based things. They have a papaya serum and a strawberry this and a watermelon that. And it smells like banana Laffy Taffy, which to me is not a natural scent. <laughs> However, I went through and I was reading all of the reviews on Sephora and a lot of them were saying, did not want this at first, totally turned off by the smell, not interested, but as soon as I used it, I loved it. And so I put it on my daughter first because she really liked the smell and she likes that sun bum stuff that smells like banana. And then I finally used it on my face today and I have to say, it's really nice. The texture is lovely. Again, it has kind of that luxurious feeling without being particularly heavy. A little bit goes a long way. It certainly didn't feel, leave me feeling greasy in any way, but it definitely was hydrating. The banana scent is the only wonky thing about this. Uh, however, I did not find that it lingered. It's possible that I just got used to it, but it was a little bit weird, you know, and I feel like, especially for sensitive skin, people are, are often turned off by scents. You know, it smells like banana Laffy Daffy. Uh, you know, it's a little weird, but I like it. I'd be interested in trying some more products from that company. Okay, I got some brushes. This one, I used it today, which is why it's dirty. This one is from MOTD, a perfect 10. And it's a big, fluffy brush with a bit of a taper on it, but it's not, you know, pointy or anything. You can use this as an all over face brush for powder. For me, it's, I mean, it's, it's not super dense, but it was just like, I don't know, I like a really soft, fluffy 
powder brush for my whole face. Um, I used it for blush and I thought, you know, I have a nice like giant face. So for me, it wasn't bad, but even then it's like, it's kind of it's a little bit sloppy. So then I went over it with just like some bronzer, like a light dusting of bronzer that I kind of smushed all over my face. And I think for that, I really, really like it because it has the right amount of density to pick up a fair amount of product without overdoing it. Um, and it's just, it's really soft and it has a nice fluff to it so that you can blend out in a wide area. So I did use it for powder, blush, and bronzer today. I don't think I would recommend this for like a contour, just really big. And again, I have kind of a big face, so you know, for me it works. This is a set of brushes. These are from Farah. I've had several brushes from Farah and in fact have this set already. This is a really nice eye brush set. You have two of these fluffy brushes that are about the same size, but one of them is a little bit pinched and the other one uh, remains round. So it's just a nice fluffy brush. Great for blending out your crease or just like an all over color or something. And then this one, which is really only slightly pinched. So if you can turn it sideways and get more in your crease, I don't know. I mean, they're really not that different. And then these ones, again, similar sizes, but with this one has a pinched ferrule and this one has a round one. But with these ones, I think there's definitely a difference. So with this one, you can pack on your shadow and blend it out a little bit. With this one, I used it more for like smaller detail blending. And then you've got this one, which is an angled, narrow, kind of a thing. At first I thought, you know, okay, like eyeliner or something, but it's it's a little too fluffy for that. <laughs> so you could get, you know, maybe like just really detailed blending, but not necessarily a precise line. I have used it for eyeliner and it's fine. You could also use this for like brow powder, you know, I mean, but I do like this set. I used it today. I use these brushes all the time. They're nice brushes. I like Farah in general. And then I got two different mascaras. This one is a smaller size, most likely for like the $10 bag. And then a big larger size of the Tristique. I've had this one before, which is why it's still in its box. Um, but I think that I ended up giving it to my sister maybe. It's an okay mascara. I was not super amazed with the formula and the gimmick it has this, you can see the picture on here. It's, it has a curler on it, but the curler is not as wide as your eye, unless you have incredibly small eyes. And so for me, I couldn't really get my lashes in there without crunching something or like, it was just very awkward, not at all useful. And the mascara itself was an okay formula. It wasn't terrible, but I also didn't particularly care for it. I have much better mascaras. This one from Ico has an interesting wand. It's got one of like that kind of hourglass ball thing going on. It's, it's an odd shape. And I know that odd shaped wands were like a really big deal for a while. Um, I don't know that I particularly care for them. I think with the ball, you can sort of try to like splay out your lashes a little bit more, like comb them through or something. I don't know. The formula is very wet. And I don't care for wet formulas, generally speaking, just because for me, they tend to weigh my lashes down. Like a drier formula seems to just work better for me personally. And it dries pretty darn crunchy. Like I have it on right now and I haven't noticed a lot of flaking, which is usually a problem with crunchy type mascaras. So I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence about that one. It's not terrible. I don't know if it's my favorite, but I'll keep using it and playing with it. Okay, and then another eye product, this cute little Violet Voss eyeshadow palette. So you've got some interesting colors in here because you have kind of these neutrally brown, beigey shades, a champagne shimmer. There's only one shimmer in here and it's literally called champagne. And then you have this crazy pop of color. <laughs> this one is called Coral Pop. And then the Pretty Peach one I find is a really nice color, especially for blending out neutrals, browns, that sort of a thing. But that Coral Pop is like, and for me as a uh, not so much of a warm tone kind of a person, I did wear it last night. And at first I was like, oh, it's kind of cute. And by the end of the night, I was like, I just don't like this color on me at 
all. But I do think that it's a fun color and I like that they included it in, in this palette. For me, you know, I'm not gonna reach for this palette very often anyway just because of the warm tones and I generally go toward cool tones. But as far as the quality is concerned, I thought that everything blended out really smoothly. They have a really nice texture to them. I like the size of the pans. I like that there is a shimmer in here, but that you have these mattes that all really go together nicely so that you can build some different looks. Like I said last night, I went with a like more dramatic, that pop of color and some darker shades. And then today I went for like a lighter, you know, I just put some champagne on my lid, used a little bit of the darker brown on the outer V, that kind of thing for just a more subdued kind of a look. So, and it's a nice palette. It's cardboard. It has a mirror. It's a good travel thing. And then on to the lip products, quite a few lip products. So this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's a lip gloss that just has like that holographic sparkle to it. I love this on my daughter. She has naturally really rosy red lips and when I put this on her, they just sparkle and they have, you know, I mean, it's kind of like this purple hue to them, but it just, it looks so pretty on her. When I wear it, with nothing else, it just makes me look like I'm dying or something. <laughs> so it's not, I have, I do not have a lot of natural pigment in my lips, but if you do, I think this is really fun and really lovely because it's just a hint of shimmer, but it's mostly a clear gloss and it's Anastasia Beverly Hills. If you've ever used their glosses before, they have a nice thick viscosity that's not too sticky and I really do like the formula on them. This one is a lip oil. The packaging on this is weird. It's got this, rubber thing around it. I'm not, I, I guess, you know, for grip, <laughs> it's sort of weird, right? And it's a lip, I mean, it feels like a lip gloss, but they call it a lip oil and it's supposed to be super hydrating. It's okay. It's not my favorite. It tends to just sit on top of my lips without hydrating them at all. And I do have very dry lips. They've been especially dry lately. We've got the Santa Ana's here in Southern California and it's been so dry and I always have dry lips. So it's just like a bazillion times worse. And this just sat on top of my lips and it, after a while it just felt uncomfortable. It was like a weird slippy slidey on top of dry chap lip. Ah, it was gross. So I don't think that I like that one at all, but I know a lot of people love lip oils and I generally speaking do not like lip oils. So if you want something in between an oil and a gloss, you know, might be your kind of thing. These are from Farrah. So I talked about the Farrah brushes. They just launched a lip line. So these are liquid lipsticks. They're quite thin when you first put them on, very wet and thin. They go on like it's like you almost want to like, you know, try to get excess stuff off of your doe foot applicator. It is a doe foot applicator. Um, it's a square package. So it doesn't roll off the table when you empty your purse. Um, a fairly long doe foot applicator, but it's, it's narrow too. And I like this style because for me, it's easy to line my lips with it. Um, you know, I can get a nice precise line, which I appreciate, but it does have a lot of product. And like I said, it's very wet and kind of thin. So you only need a little bit. When Jouer came out with theirs, I felt like it had a similar texture. However, my Jouer ones all dried out. I was so sad. I did an empties video where I was like, I can't wear any of these anymore because I was obsessed with them. I bought too many and could not use them all before they dried out. So I'm hoping that these ones don't dry out. I really do like the colors. This came in a three pack and it came with this little pamphlet thingy with all the different colors that they launched and they talk about their BFFs. And so they're meant to kind of mix together a lighter shade with a darker shade, similar tones, that sort of thing. You can mix and match and come up with your own custom blend. And because they are so wet, you have time to work with them and blend them. So that much I appreciate. I am more and more liking that wet form formula. But the three that I got are Coco, Farah, and Tiffany. So Tiffany is what I have on right now. It's like a dark rose kind of a color. It's definitely more of like a muted 
pink. This one, Farah, is a nice, beautiful red. This is such a good red. It's right middle of the road, not too blue, not too orange. It's very flattering. I absolutely love this. And then Coco, which is a brown. And at first, I did not think that I was going to like Coco at all because it seems, it's a very warm brown, but I do like it. They're still wet. They do take a little bit to dry. So this is Coco, Tiffany, and Farah. And I will say, having worn them for several hours, they do, I mean, they perform like a normal liquid lipstick. After a while, if you have, especially if you have dry lips, they are going to dry out a bit. You can put like a lip balm on top of it to try to help with that. Um, after eating, it did tend to crumble a little bit, but honestly, I think a lot of that was just my lips being overly dry. Some liquid lipsticks are like, once they're on, they're on, they're not moving, they're dry, that's it, they're done. And even if you put a lip gloss over it, they, they don't budge. These ones do move once you put some moisture on them, um, which I appreciate because then you can kind of blend it out and you know work with it. And then reapplication works beautifully. It goes smoothly on top. It doesn't like crumble or cake or, you know, you get kind of like pilliness sometimes. None of that. So I'm really, really, really liking the formula of these. They seem pretty big as far as the packaging. I mean, this is a kind of a hefty size, but you know, I don't mind that per se. And I do actually like the non rolly square packaging, the lid on this. Can you see the little crown on there? I mean, it's cute. The packaging is very cute. And then it has the crown on the top as well. So overall, I'm really liking all of these products. I'm excited for this month because I feel like there's a lot of new stuff in here, some really interesting things. And I, I'm not seeing the same old, same old over and over again, which I felt like I was a little bit last month. So that is good. So let me know what you guys got in your box. Did you get the Glam Bag or the Glam Bag Plus or the Ultimate? And let me know if you got any of these products and what you thought of them. I always love hearing from you. I will also be doing my regular Ipsy Glam Bag Plus later on in the month after I get that one. So we can check back in then. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!